typical seasonal market slowdown has returned this winter. I'm Tony with Clarkson Santoro, and this is our real estate update for the week of Friday, November 17th. We know that selling or buying a home can be stressful and confusing. In this series, we use our more than 50 combined years of experience helping clients sell or buy homes to explain what the latest San Ramon real estate market trends mean for you as a homeowner who's thinking about selling or as someone who is looking for a house that you will love to call home. Let's start off by looking how this week performed. <clears throat> there are 26 active homes on the market which is up from the 24 we had last week. The average asking price of those homes is $1,860,000, which is slightly lower than last week's average asking of $1,928,000. Four homes went pending, half of the number of pending homes that we saw last week, with an average asking price for those pending homes of $1,590,000, down from last week's average pending price of $1,679,000 and three homes sold this week, which is two fewer than last week, with an average sales price of $2,109,000, which is slightly lower than last week's $2,210,000. So now that we've looked at how this week uh, the market performed this week, let's look into the broader trends that provide insights into its overall health and its future potential direction. But before we do that, if you find this information helpful, you can subscribe so you don't miss out on future updates. And why not share this with a friend as well? Everyone deserves to be in the know about their local real estate market. Okay, let's take a look, uh, closer look at those indicators, shall we? Starting with inventory, which increased by two homes like I already mentioned this week. It remains well below the annual average for San Ramon but seems consistent with the inventory levels we typically see around this time of year. With Thanksgiving right around the corner and then Christmas just beyond, about a month away, sellers will often choose to remove their home from the market if, they're, if they aren't getting significant interest, and then they'll relist after the first of the year. Even if the pending sales don't pick up in inventory, don't pick up, inventory will likely drop in the coming weeks. Speaking of pending sales, they continue to lag this week, reflected in our turnover rate. The turnover rate dropped a few points this week and is now in the 60s. It should be noted that even though the pending sale numbers are down, the homes that are going pending are doing so in an average of about nine days on the market. And the average list price of pending homes is in the 1.5 million range. So what this suggests to me is that the lower priced homes that show exceptionally well are still finding excited buyers who are willing to pay uh, to purchase those homes quickly. That excitement for the well-priced, nicely finished, affordable home has buoyed the over-underpriced this week. We ended at the same level as uh, last week here. <clears throat> But we did see the average fall under the category, uh, under, uh, into the under category in the middle of the week. This is the first time since March that we have seen the average home sell for less than the asking price. This could be just a return to the normal ebbs and flows of the seasonal market trends that we haven't really seen since uh, the insane COVID market. I don't know, uh, and we'll. I, I don't think we will know if this is a new trend, uh, or just the seasonal holiday season market effects. One market trend that points to the over uh, points to this over under price just being a seasonal dip is the average sales price metric. This week we saw the 30-day rolling average remain in the two million plus range. And what is more impressive is that the median sales price is also over $2 million now. The median price was at about $1.85 million 30 days ago. That is a significant increase in a short amount of time. The average price will likely settle back down just to just under $2 million in the coming weeks, as the average pending numbers are much lower. But the fact that the average was able to climb above $2 million during one of the slowest market stretches we have seen in a while, 
points to the strength and value of the overall San Ramon housing market. Another market that demonstrated its resilience this week is the Invesco Triple Q Fund. It climbed another 4% this week. Any growth in this uh, fund will be a potential boon to our real estate market. Consumer confidence and affordability correlates closely with this market as a majority of home buyers are employed by the tech sector. And more moderately good news uh, can be found looking at the interest rates this week. They dropped another six basis points, just a little bit, uh, settling at 7.44%. This is the third week in a row that rates have dropped. This obviously helps buyers when considering a new mortgage, but it doesn't come close to reaching the threshold that we believe is holding most sellers back. Most homeowners that would normally consider selling are currently paying interest rates at or below 4%. So unless the current interest rates drop significantly, I don't expect there to be a large number of homes entering the market anytime soon. Overall, it's safe to say that we have entered into a typical slow holiday season for real estate, a seasonal trend that we, have experienced for we haven't experienced for several years now. The high interest rates continue to be the biggest factor holding the market in check, both in terms of buyer's affordability and excitement about purchasing and seller's willingness to sell and move on from their exceptionally low rates that they locked in in the last year or earlier. Fortunately for sellers, homes that are in the more affordable range that show well are still selling quickly. And as long as inventory remains low, I think that that trend will persist despite the high interest rates. On the other hand, the lack of inventory will continue to frustrate buyers. But for the next month or so, I think we, you can expect to not have competition from other hopeful homeowners if you do find a house that you like. Thanks for joining us for this weekly update. I hope the summary and commentary helped you understand how our market is impacting your options. If you have any specific questions about navigating the market to sell or buy a home, don't hesitate to drop a comment down below or reach out to us directly. We're here to help you uh, guide you every step of the way. And if you did find this information helpful, don't forget to share it with a friend and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll always stay in the know about the latest real estate news here in San Ramon. Have a safe Thanksgiving week and we'll skip next week's update and we'll see you in two weeks with a new update.